Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 18.7 of Crash Course RPG LE. So let's continue our project. So I know it's been a long time before the last video on this video. I have some other project works. Anyway, so let's get started. So what we have built till now is actually the uh, student admin login. So I think last time we built the load also file, right? So if you go to admin login, if you go to view all student, we'll be able to see uh, the uh, student details now what we want to do we are going to do the second portion which is edit or delete particular student okay so let me quickly do one thing okay. so i already made a copy of it i'll demonstrate how it's going to look like so basically uh, we are going to have the same admin login but if you log in this time we're going to have the option to once you go to the option two, right, we should be able to see something like we are edit student. If I give a student ID and then press enter, the detail should be displayed here. Okay, and then if I display another student, it should display. If I give a blank, it should say student not found with all the fields blank. Okay, and then uh, if you want to edit, right, say for example, I give 2002, I get details. So I'm just bound to edit. Here you can see the student ID is not editable, only the remaining fields are editable. So I'm just going to say like, uh, a new name for two like that okay and then we have to press f4 okay then it says student updated okay and then if you press enter it goes but if you go back and then see that student it should be available with the value if you give f3 okay and then if you directly go and see the database it should be updated with what we updated okay so it's what we're going to build in this video and first of all the screen designing uh, i'm going to save some time uh, so that uh, i'm going to copy the screen from this particular display file into this particular display file okay and then i'll proceed further so let me do that if you go here uh, okay this is the screen which we have built here 06 fmt okay so what i'm going to do uh, let me edit this um, and here i can take this one uh okay so we need this cc cc okay. now i have added the record format here so if you give file and then give 17 we should be able to see the a06 fmd here so what is a06 fmd so nothing but uh, i have just designed the screen uh, and i have this field called uh, INP STUD and wo okay just to get the input student ID and this field is actually uh, non editable or in other words output field but the remaining fields are input and output okay and another important thing is actually you can see I have a separate field name in this particular screen okay it is not a direct database field name okay the reason because if we have a direct database field name okay then we are already using that field for many other screens as well okay so we'll have a clash so it's good to have a separate field name so that even if somebody is updating anything right you will get the updated value into this particular variable name so that we can assign this back to the uh, actual pf uh, column name and then we can update it okay so so for the simplicity i have the exact name of the column like uh, s a d d r but followed by one okay and you can see similarly uh, sorry yes phone one like that and as usual we have this error message called emsg06 another uh, difference here is actually if you go to 8 and then indicate the keyword uh, normally we use ca right i i'm using cf for 04 because when you press f4 right we want to have the uh, information from the input fields to be available in our program okay if you if I give CA04 here, it's called only attention key, which means the input fields, if I have changed something, right, the changed value will not be available in the program. So with that said, right, so nothing else. So let us compile this one. Okay, compile. Now window code. So I'm going to this particular code. This is the one which we are building it through the project. So where our code should come. So if 
cc basically it's one of the admin option right so here we have the admin subroutine called admin option for option one we are displaying all the sub file data and option two we need to code so what i'm going to do here so if you press option two right i'm going to say axsr okay uh view or edit stu okay i'm going to call a subroutine we need to build the subroutine so let me quickly do that so this is going to be okay it's a template okay view edit okay first thing what we need to do uh, as per our uh, usual template uh, i will do do while star in03 equal to star off until the f3 is pressed basically i'm just going to do a ex fmt of s06 fmt so this will just display the uh, screen which is nothing but the newly designed screen which is which will just save you or edit like that okay and in that case if suppose uh, they press sorry in that case if they suppose press if star in12 equal to star on if they press f12 and if it should go back right so we'll put a leave condition here okay if not then we should actually code the uh, remaining portion okay and so let's see what happens at this time i will compile this guy so i'm going to admin one 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 password if you give initially it was showing some error okay if we give two we are getting the screen okay but as of now if we press enter nothing will happen because we have not coded anything but we have coded for f12 so if we press f12 it will go back okay now our intention is if we press enter i should get a error message stating student cannot be blank or student invalid kind of stuff okay if i give a student number and then press enter then we should go and query the pf and then display the records here right so let's do that portion uh where is our code so here first of all uh what i'm going to do if i'm not pressing f12 then i'm assuming i have entered something okay then the value will be available in the input field called inpstudnvo right so i'm just going to do a simple chain with inpstudnvo okay and then stu dance because this is our key also for our student file okay so if percentage found of students okay and if there will be else condition also here okay if it is found then we should display the details so here right so yes id one equal to yes id okay so let me copy this also from the code i don't want to just save some time okay so this is what we need basically what we are doing we are copying the pf uh, variable names into the uh, sorry okay. so if we found right these columns are pf columns okay we are assigning those into the display file fields so that we'll be able to see the data okay if it is a positive scenario okay if we are not able to find a student okay then it will come to the else condition so else condition we can simply say right uh, ems d06 equal to stu dent not found okay so what will happen if it reaches sales condition then it will go back and then display while displaying we'll be seeing the error message okay and also we need one more thing let me clear the ems06 here else it will keep on showing the same message so now let's see what happens okay we, we still need to do one more thing but i'll just show you in the action okay so let me go there 
if it's enter which is student not found because it takes student number as zero and then checking with the pf but that is no record if you give a valid record we are able to see the data which is good so we are going changing the file and then ascending into the display file variable name okay but if we press enter again here is the thing okay if you press enter again it says student not found but again the values are available because the previous value is still available in the display file fields so here i uh, should clear it okay that is the portion we need to do now uh, which is nothing but uh, okay so if if it's a positive scenario no issues we will, we will be assigning all the pf names into the display file names but if it is a negative scenario uh, then we just need to clear out these things okay that we need to do i'll copy this whole stuff okay i6 just Okay. so i hope this makes sense now that error will go okay uh, uh fine so what we should do now let's compile and check okay cool so enter okay fine if i give a valid record is coming if i give enter again it just goes away so view student is fine now let's talk about the id student so when we should do say, say for example if i type something get the reader then if i edit something what happens the editable value will be available in the display file uh, variable name okay uh, but if you take f4 in this point i should make sure that i get the data from the display file field and then i'll assign back to the uh, pf field and then i just update it okay that's what we're going to do okay so f4 can happen at any point of time so let's put that portion uh, so what i'm going to do if f12 is pressed we'll go back if not we'll come here and then do all the steps okay so here uh else if star i n 12 equal to star oh, sorry 0 4 right 0 4 equals to if and i'm going to make another condition here actually so we all know that the sid field is non-editable right so if sid1 okay the display file sid1 is not equal to zero this will ensure that we are having at least some data in our display field okay in this case if the f4 is pressed we just need to update whatever we have in the display file into the pf so here simply we need to assign back all the pf data okay. this is the reverse way so we we should assign back the pf i mean display fill fill name into pf you understand right okay that's one catch this sid is not needed because sid we are not already doing okay so name one room okay so these fields from display file might have been changed so we are just assigning back to the pf and then we should do a update stud fmt okay so this this should help and then we also do emsg 6 equal to student update okay see the thing is we cannot update a file without you do a proper read or chain okay the reason why my update will work here because this will make sure that the student id is not equal to zero which means we are having some student information in the pf how the student information came into the pf because in the, previously we should have read using this chain operation okay so th that's why this update is happening uh, okay so and we need to do one more thing we should make our student into update mode okay file in 
Okay, this is our final result. So let's go back and then check the same student. Two zero zero two. Name two again. Okay, so I'm just going to press F4. See, this information came because we already changed this particular record. Okay, so when I press F4 now, it can just do the update. Okay, just do an update. That. Okay, and then if we just press enter, it is changing with zero and then displaying blank. But if you go back with the 2002, we should be able to see the name two again. Okay, so that is the end of this video. So hope this helps you okay in the next video we will be seeing uh, the next admin option which is the adding the new student okay what happened oh i gave the student id <laughs> okay the project works man student login uh, okay sorry admin login oh, no 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 password okay we're gonna code this portion in our next video okay once we completed this our whole student will be going away and then we'll concentrate on the student login okay so that's the end of this video i hope this helps uh thanks i think we have reached 2000 subscribers i'm very happy and i'm expecting more i'll see you in the next video soon thanks for watching